or truth has time to get its pants on. Here's an example. If you ask somebody what they believe is an outstanding and known behavioral characteristic of a lemming, they probably tell you something similar to this dictionary definition. A person who unthinkingly joins a mass movement, especially a headlong rush to destruction. Many people still believe that every so often, lemmings will just jump off cliffs in a crazy rush toward mass suicide. You've heard, don't be a lemming. I've said it myself. In other words, don't just blindly follow a course without considering the consequences. And you gotta admit, that is wise counsel. Mencius, an ancient philosopher said, to act without clear understanding, to form habits without investigation, to travel a path all one's life without knowing where it really leads, such is the behavior of the multitude. And that's true. For the most part, people turn their minds off and let others do their thinking for them. But to link that kind of behavior to the lemming is just a flat out lie. Contrary to popular belief, lemmings do not commit mass suicide. It's a myth, but it's remarkable how many people still believe it. Wildlife biologist Thomas McDowell says, it's a complete urban legend. I think it blew out of proportion based on a Disney documentary in the 1950s and that brought it to the mainstream. Guys, lemmings are a kind of short-tailed vole, a mouse-like rodent that favors tundra and open grasslands. Three kinds are found in Alaska, including the collared lemming, the only rodent that turns white in the winter. Ahead lies the Arctic shore and beyond the sea. And still the little animals surge forward. Their frenzy takes them tumbling down the terraced cliffs. And so begins the lemming segment in Walt Disney's 1958 program called White Wilderness. It was part of the studio's True Life Adventure series. So of course, like politicians, Disney had to throw falsehood into their True Life Adventure series. White Wilderness featured this segment on lemmings detailing their strange compulsion to commit mass suicide. According to a 1983 investigation by Canadian Broadcasting Corporation producer Brian Bailey, the lemming scenes were faked. The lemmings that supposedly committed mass suicide by jumping into the ocean were actually thrown off the cliff by Disney filmmakers. The epic lemming migration was staged using careful editing, tight camera angles, and dozens of lemmings supposedly jumping off a cliff. White Wilderness was filmed in Alberta, Canada, a landlocked province, and not on location in the lemmings' natural habitat. There are about 20 lemming species found in the circumpolar north, but evidently not in the area of Alberta. So apparently the Disney people bought lemmings from Inuit children a couple provinces away in Manitoba and staged the whole sequence. In the lemming segment, the little rodents assemble for a mass migration, scamper across the tundra, and ford a tiny stream as narrator Winston Hibbler explains that a kind of compulsion seizes each tiny rodent and, carried along by an unreasoning hysteria, each falls into step for a march that will take them to a strange destiny. That destiny is to jump into the ocean. As they approach the sea, which is actually a river brought to you by more tight cropping, Hibbler continues, they become victims of an obsession, a one-track thought. Move on, move on. The pack of lemmings reaches the final precipice. Hibbler says, this is the last chance to turn back. Yet over they go, casting themselves out bodily into space. Lemmings are seen flying into the water. The final shot shows the sea awash with dying lemmings. And it's amazing to me how many people don't think of the camera angles and timing. If you just stop to consider the positioning of the guy behind the camera and the subjects he's filming, you know it's all staged. In the sequence of the film, here the camera is below where the lemmings are supposedly about to jump. Then they pan out over the cliff from above, back to below the cliff, then to a shot from the water, then above the cliff from the perspective of the suicidal lemmings, back to below the cliff, above the cliff, and back in the water again. There's nothing strange here, folks. Don't ask questions, we're the filmmakers. Believe us, they were committing suicide. Now, no doubt some scenes in nature documentaries are staged. 
In Sir David Attenborough's recent documentary, The Life of Birds, the close-up footage of a flying swan allows us to see in sharp detail the amazing action of a bird in flight. But faking an entirely mythical event is something else. It's likely that Disney conflated and confused dispersal with migration and embellished a kernel of truth in order to attract viewers' attention. Lemming populations fluctuate enormously based on predators, food, climate, and other factors. Under ideal conditions, in a single year, a population of lemmings can increase by a factor of 10. When they've exhausted the local food supply, they disperse, as do the moose, beaver, and many other animals. But when times are lean, they'll even resort to cannibalism, but never mass suicide. Guys, the hoax lemming Disney story should teach us all a lesson. Never believe everything you hear. Sit back, give it some thought, and question everything. Don't be pressured to believe. Pressure yourself to know what's actually going on. There is something that has committed and continues to commit mass suicide in our world today. It's critical thinking. That appears to have jumped off the jagged rocks of our illusory world long ago. Hey guys, I appreciate you watching. If you enjoy these videos, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification icon, give it a thumbs up, share it with everybody you know, and don't forget to get on my private email list through my website, highimpactflicks.com. All those links are in the description and in the pinned comment. I'll see you guys in the next heavily censored shadow ban video.